Are you scared of the book of Revelation? Don't be. Its messages can change your life. The book of Revelation is the last book inside the Holy Bible. It has 22 chapters. It's really the greatest book on Bible prophecy ever written. Yet a lot of people avoid it because they think it's just too scary, or it's too hard to understand, or it's just not relevant for our high-tech times. I tell you, nothing could be further from the truth. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3 says, Blessed is he that reads, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. I get this, this is the only book in the entire 66 books of the Bible that starts out pronouncing a blessing, a blessing on those who actually read the book. And as you go to the last chapter in Revelation 22, this blessing is repeated. In verse seven, Jesus says, behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keeps the sayings of the prophecy of this book. I've been reading the Bible for over 40 years and Revelation has become my personal all-time favorite Bible book. Uh, I've actually memorized large sections in chapter one and chapter two and down throughout the book. And uh, many times I just repeat some of these verses to myself when I take a walk in the woods or uh, especially at night when I'm laying in, in bed, uh, if my wife Kristen is asleep, uh, sometimes in the middle of the night, if I wake up for a few minutes, I just start going through some of these verses. Uh, and I often do this uh, before I go to sleep as I just lay my head on the pillow, I say my nightly prayers, and then I start going through different verses. Uh, there's so many verses in, the, in Revelation that are just so powerful. Uh, and as I repeat these verses to me, I tell you, uh, I'm doing this video because they are changing my life. Revelation contains mysterious prophecies about the rise of the beast, or about Babylon the Great who deceives the world, about this wicked harlot woman riding a seven-headed beast who makes the whole world drunk with her, her wine. It talks about the mark of the beast, about the seven last plagues that fall upon those who get the mark of the beast, about the glorious return of Jesus Christ, about a new heaven and a new earth when sin is completely destroyed and gone forever. Uh, its themes are big, much bigger than anything you'll ever watch on CNN or Fox News. Revelation talks about heaven, about a shiny city called the New Jerusalem, about eating from the tree of life, about drinking from the water of life, about living in the paradise of God, about millions of, of angels, holy angels, uh, surrounding God's people, and about people who are rescued from sin like you and me, who can someday be clothed with pure white robes, wearing golden crowns on our heads, holding musical instruments, uh, being gathered around the great white throne with the saved of all the ages, singing praises to God and to the Lamb, who is Jesus Christ our Savior, who died on a cruel cross for our sins. I tell you, if you will uh, read this book, and learn these verses and memorize some of them one by one uh, and meditate upon them and they will change your life too. They will lift you up above the darkness and the evil and the wickedness of this world and they will fix your faith on a better land. And we all need to discover these mighty truths. And they are not, uh, they're not fiction. This is not mythology. Uh, this is not just fantasy. In Revelation chapter 1, verse or 21, verses 4 and 5, the Bible says that God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And then he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. These words in the book of Revelation are the truth and they're faithful words. They're God's words for you in these last days. So don't be afraid of the last book of the Bible, of the book of Revelation. I urge you to read it, to learn it, to memorize many of the verses, to get them into your head and into your heart. I promise you, 
Again, they will change your life. Chapter 1, verse 3 says, Blessed is he that reads, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Wait, before you go, and you know what I'm going to say, if you enjoyed this message, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. To hear more messages, check out our other videos. Have a blessed day.